Get the gang together. We got an investigation on our hands. Kong Racing President Chris Rice posted a photo to Twitter on Wednesday of him shaking hands with presumably their future NASCAR Cup Series driver. And of course, we don't know who this guy is because we can't see his face, but all we can see is his arm. And while he has a very hairy arm, it's not as hairy as a Robin Williams or a Chandler Smith, it is at least a noticeable amount of hairy. I don't know if you guys have ever actually looked at how hairy your arms are. Um, this person has hairy arms. Maybe a Ryan Newman. The forearm's just not thick enough, right? Ryan Newman's built a bit like a tank. Everybody's like, oh, it's going to be Ryan Newman in the replies. It's not Ryan Newman. You're going to have some girthy forearms if that's Ryan Newman. But that did, did leave everybody to investigate. And the internet investigators, myself included here, just doing a little uh, Pulitzer Prize winning investigation while I was eating lunch today, have come to the conclusions that it is likely one of probably three drivers that are out there. So let's start with who it is not. Right off the bat, we know it's not Casey Kane, and you're probably wondering, why are we even talking about Casey Kane? Well, there are a number of people in the replies that were saying it was Casey Kane because the trophy behind Chris Rice was from the 2014 Summer Xfinity race at Daytona, won by Casey Kane. There's also another Summer Daytona trophy there as well, which a lot of people maybe assume that it was Justin Allgaier, and we'll get to that in a second. But we know it's not Casey Kane because the arm is entirely too hairy and the uh, hair color is too dark to be Casey Kane. So we can throw Casey out of it. He's going to keep racing uh, sprint cars, trying to win a World of Outlaws race for the first time. If you didn't know that, Casey Kane's never won a World of Outlaws race, which is a wild statistic. But he did mention that he would like to get back into a stock car at some point. So maybe that's why some people thought it could be Casey. It's definitely not, though. So thanks for playing. Not Casey Kane. The next driver up that it definitely is not is Justin Allgaier. And uh, again, all the JRM trophies, presumably JRM trophies that are behind Chris Rice there, led credence to the fact that a lot of people thought this could be Allgaier. His name has been linked with their Cup Series car as well because he does bring a substantial amount of money from his sponsor, Brandt, but doesn't look like it's Justin Allgaier. Again, the forearms don't match. Justin Allgaier is all of five foot two, maybe. His hand is entirely too small to be the hand that's shaking Chris Rice's hand. And again, the arm hair and the skin color just don't match up to being Justin Allgaier, so we're going to toss him out the window as well. Another driver we know it definitely is not, who just got reinstated by NASCAR on Tuesday, is Noah Gragson. The arm hair, or just the complete presence of arm hair, can basically just already tell us that it's not Noah Gragson. Noah, it does look like he might have a little arm hair. I've never spent more time looking at men's arm hair in my life, and I don't really want to do it again, but I can tell you that Noah Gragson's arm hair does not match up with the arm hair that is in this photo, so go ahead and throw Noah Gragson out of the running as well. That's not to say that he won't end up at COG in the Xfinity series, maybe. Possibly. Could maybe happen. We'll figure it out. So, if it's not those guys, and it's not Chandler Smith, uh, Chandler Smith's arms are entirely too hairy, and if you kind of look at the skin and the makeup of the the hand and the arm that's shaking Chris Rice's hand, it definitely is not somebody that's 21 years old. That skin has seen a little bit of life, so we're just going to throw a Chandler out because it wouldn't make any sense. So, let's talk about who it could possibly be now. Next up is Matt DiBenedetto, and while the internet absolutely thinks he's going to end up at college after he announced his departure from Rackley War at the end of the season, he's not going to, but for the sake of the argument, let's talk about it. The arm hair doesn't match up. Matt D's forearm also is probably a bit bigger than the forearm that's right here because that dude does work out a lot, and for as much as I make fun of him, he could easily beat me up, but we don't resort to violence. And uh, his hand. That's the big telling point here. Matt DiBeno has pretty big hands, and the hand that's shaking Chris Rice's hand does not match the size of Matt D's hand, so I don't think it's Matt DiBenedetto. Chris Rice mentioned that they had signed a driver that's going to shock the world, and I feel like he maybe oversold that a bit when he was talking on Door Bumper Clear, but for the sake of maybe he didn't oversell it, what if this is Shane Van Gisbergen's arm and hand that is shaking Chris Rice's? If you take a look at the picture, SVG definitely does have some bit of hairy arms here. The skin definitely matches up with being that like late 20s into the 30s with a little bit of life on the skin there. I'm just saying, SVG has had ties to Trackhouse. That seems to have gotten really silent recently. Maybe he ends up at college next year and maybe this is the shock the world signing that um, Chris Rice was talking about. 
That brings us to who I definitely think it is, and I do believe that it is Daniel Hemrick who is shaking hands with Chris Rice in that photo. If you take a look at Daniel Hemrick right here, you can see that he has a an abundance amount of arm hair that matches the color and maybe the density, if we will, <laughs> it's so absurd that we're talking about arm hair like this, of the arm that is in the photo. It also makes sense because his name has been rumored to moving up to the Cup Series with Colic. He's obviously already with them in the Xfinity Series. He has Cup experience. He said that he's double the driver now that he than he was when he made his Cup season debut with RCR for one season. It makes a lot of sense. The arm kind of looks like him and I definitely think it might be Daniel Hemrick. That's who I'm leaning with right now with 85% certainty. So let me know who you think it is in the comments. It would absolutely be hilarious if Chris Rice is just shaking hands with some very random person <laughs> and everybody's just been trying to manhunt whose arm hair matches this random person that he's shaking hands with. Would be very funny. But regardless, like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram, Twitter, and threads at Break Hard Blog.